Kelsey James. Okay, so our topic is stereotypes. So tell me, Kelsey <laughs> James. Have you ever been stereotyped? Yes, yes I have. Okay, okay tell us yes. that experience. Well, when people look at me, they aren't sure like of what definition no. mm -hmm. I am. <laughs> to be clear, my mother's Puerto Rican. Humans of government up here today. David. David. Olivia. Olivia. Samantha. And Samantha. So I have a question for you guys. Um, when do you guys recall a time that you guys have been stereotyped against? And what was the case? Like, Speak louder. Well, I've been stereotyped to say that I was white or Caucasian because of my skin complexion. And I'm actually Hispanic, so that's, oh. that's probably almost, almost every single time I meet people. Wow. Wow. When I was in about sixth or seventh grade, I was very quiet. Mm -hmm. I was African American. I was very quiet as a child. And the girl next to me, she asked me what I was. She said, Oh, you're black? She said, Oh, you're very quiet for a black girl. So I'm like, oh, okay, like, <laughs> it started that young that I started noticing it. Okay, how about you? Uh, well, I'm Hispanic, so a lot of times when they ask, if, when I say I'm Hispanic or I'm Spanish, the first initiative is like, are you Mexican? It's like, no, I'm not Mexican, no, I'm not that. And then also the way I dress, the way I talk, so you don't really act Spanish, you don't talk Spanish, because I like fruits, I like sneakers, I on the funky side, so they think uh, you should like a lot of Spanish music and like Jordans and hip hop and stuff. Not really. Mm -hmm. So, have you guys stereotyped somebody? How about today? No? Okay. Yes. I mean, growing up, uh, I think it comes natural to us because the, our environment is kind of what we were raised into. But I am trying not to be a certain person. So I will admit that I have been. But I'm trying not to be. Cool. Okay, how about you? Uh, not purposely, because like she said, it's kind of environment. You kind of build stereotypes. Of course, you like it'll pop up automatically in my head, but. But by the time I meet this person or I'm introduced to this person, those judgments are completely gone and it's basically how this person, I see them. It's not like the stereotypes that usually relate to them. But they do pop up in your head, but they don't initially follow. Okay, thank you, Paula from Humans of Government. Back to you, Don. This is Paula from Humans of Government, and I'm here with... Amanda Lopez. So Amanda, tell us a time where you've been stereotyped. Um, last week I went to an interview and they assumed that I spoke Spanish just because my last name was Lopez. Oh my God. Um, do you recall a time where you stereotyped somebody? No. No? No. Okay. Thank you. Amanda Lopez, back to you. Hola from Humans of Government. I'm here with... Kyle Farrell. Okay, Kyle. So tell us a time that you've been stereotyped. Um, I actually, I have been stereotyped because I was actually white, and I, they always think the stereotype of a white man that he's smart, very intelligent, but at times, or even when I do, at times I seem to be very smarter than others, I do have, have problems on my own, and I'm not always uh, smart and intelligent as people think. Like saying, okay, you must be very good at math. Like, I suck at math in high school and stuff. And when it comes to other situations, like noticing if... Uh, a person like if I a person like has a, a crush on me or something like I'm clueless when it comes to that mm -hmm. and like but the thing is, is that I'm stereotyped based on the color of my skin it makes me feel like unwelcomed and kind of hurt but I understand stereotypes are there for a reason and the only thing is that you need to find a way to just break the stereotype so then you could shine out in yourself and you could actually be one person instead of just like Three thousand billion uh, other stereotypes that surround your type of person. Okay. Um, do you recall a time where you stereotyped somebody else? Never. I actually, I'm never judging people on their skin color. I would never judge anyone on their personality because everyone's personality is different. Okay. Thank you, Kyle. This is Paula from Humans of Government. 